Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you guys doing? I feel like it's been like a minute since I filmed. Because it has been. I'm a little hypes. Shameless plug. So let's just work with me. So today's video, I thought it would be so much fun to kind of play on one of my last videos. I did a video with e.l.f. products where I tested all the e.l.f. dupes against the real life products to see which was better, the dupe or the original. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing, but with L'Oreal. I would say maybe like two or three are similar, like the same products to test against, but for the vast majority, it's gonna be new products. New products here to test out. I honestly think this is kind of fun. I feel like maybe I should make this into like a little bit of a series. Let me know if you guys like that. Because we're gonna do that today with L'Oreal. Come on, L'Oreal, you gotta work. So that's what today's video is gonna be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know, you're that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like testing dupes, if you guys like the gays, you're gay. You're he's gay. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but yeah, let's go get started on today's video. So some of these products I have here, I actually have not tried on my face. I'm talking about the L'Oreal ones. So some of them are gonna actually be like new together. together. I don't think I've tried the Infallible Pro Spray yet. I had to buy the, the Gloomy Lotion. The Gloomy Lotion, the Lumi Glotion. This bronzer, the Infallible Bronzer. Never tried that myself. Never tried that. So some of these things I actually had to buy myself and I wanted to test against products I thought that they were potentially duped. With this one, because L'Oreal's been going on for so long, I don't necessarily think that they're purposefully duping a lot of these products, but they've somehow become like dupes or like through the grapevine. This is all allegedly, don't sue me. So first things first, we're gonna do left side, we're gonna be L'Oreal and right side dupes. So first product first, we're gonna start off with our base slash primer. This is a dupe that I have personally discovered and this is my personal one and my personal humble opinion. The L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base to me is a dupe for the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I'm obsessed with both, obviously like they're very similar products. So I'm taking the L'Oreal and this one to me, I really feel feel like blurs my pores and I have very large man pores, very large and in charge. Usually when you're more on the oily side, your pores tend to be a little bit larger because you just have a lot of area. You just got a lot of fucking surface area. So not only does this product smooth me out, but I do feel like yeah, it kind of helps with a little bit of that oil because it's kind of that silky silicone base kind of product. The Tarte one is a tried and true. I'm obsessed with this product. Even the consistency, you guys, they're so similar. I would say the L'Oreal one is a little bit more creamy, but the products are so eerily similar that I was like, oh wait, I feel like this is a dupe. And I've seen people use the L'Oreal Perfecting Base and turned it into like a dupe for the Tarte one too. And I was like, oh my God, like, did I influence you? Maybe, perhaps, maybe not. If you like this, but don't wanna spend the money on the Tarte one, try the L'Oreal Perfecting Base. This is one I like 10 out of 10 fully believe that this is a dupe. Let's go into our foundation. So this is through the grapevine right here. We have the Armani Luminous Silk and the True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. These are supposed to be dupes. I truly, I don't know about this one. I'm very intrigued about this one. Both I really like, so I'm, I've, been, I've just never used them back to back. So we will see if it's worth the dupage. Keeping the mustache is still going strong, by the way. So we're gonna do Armani Luminous Silk on the right side. So Armani Luminous Silk, great foundation, gives a nice, like, I would say medium coverage. This shade is gonna be a little bit dark for me. And I just, I want you to know that, okay? For a long time, especially back in the day, like, the Armani Luminous Silk was such a blueprint for so many people. People were obsessed with Armani Luminous Silk and everyone used it for good reason, it really is such a beautiful foundation. Just perfects the skin, makes it still look like skin. Oh, it's lovely. I'm taking another pump because my sponge soaked up like half the product. <laughs> work, Diva, work. Shade 4.5 is a shade that I'm using. Me over here being like, you guys, I think it's gonna be a lot deeper than me. And it's like literally low key like the same. <laughs> okay. It looks so freaking nice. It literally just perfects the skin without it looking too heavy. I love Armani Luminous, so why have I stopped using you? Taking a new sponge and I'm taking the Hyaluronic Serum. This product is more of a, not recent discovery, but I do absolutely love it. Even the consistency on the back of my hand is similar. It's kind of runny. It's a little bit thin. That's okay, I didn't expect that. Taking the shade right here. 
oh, I see what the fuck they're talking about. I see you. I would say, okay, so I would say that the, the L'Oreal side is a little bit more luminous, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I do feel like the Armani one dries down slightly more natural, whereas the L'Oreal Lumi, not L Lumi, but the L'Oreal True Match is a little bit more luminous on the skin. But let's just see how it dries down. And I would say the L'Oreal one has a little bit less coverage than the Armani Luminous Silk does. Phone check-in. Okay, let me show you guys what it looks like on the phone. Right side, Armani Luminous Silk, like I said, gorgeous. Gives you a nice natural finish. Slightly more luminous on the L'Oreal side, but very similar and a little bit less coverage. But I still would say they are pretty similar. Just a little bit less loomy. I don't necessarily think that it would actually be like a dupe, but I do feel like they are similar products 100%. I just don't think that they're like dupes. I do feel like the L'Oreal one has a little bit more of a luminous finish than the Armani Luminous Silk, which is funny because it's literally the Luminous Silk, yet the True Match is more luminous. If you are drier, yeah, I think you might want to go to L'Oreal. Also, the Armani has a little bit more coverage than the L'Oreal one does. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. This is a really great foundation for if you want just like a little bit of natural something, something. You know, nothing crazy. Oh, the coverage is building lovely. The coverage is building nicely. It's not picking up the layer underneath. So I definitely do think that it could become a dupe, but you have to use a lot more product. That's more of your own personal discretion. I do feel like they are similar. I don't know if I would say it's like a dupe. Hmm, y'all are kind of on something here. I think we gotta do concealer. So the concealer we have here, on the left side we are taking the L'Oreal Full Wear. This is so good. Like I honestly, I really like this concealer. <laughs> what shade are you? Fawn. I think I need a darker shade. So I would say this is a full coverage intense concealer for sure. When I saw similarities, a lot of people thought it was similar to the Tarte Shape Tape concealer, which is, this is one that I pulled up in the, um, in the e.l.f. one. I feel like a lot of brands are trying to come for Tarte, like I do, like I really do. The Tarte Shape Tape is notoriously an amazing concealer for coverage, for longevity. It really is just a good concealer. Look at that, just covered up everything. Oh, all those indiscretions. The shade is a little bit off, obviously, with my L'Oreal Full Wear, but, oh my god. It's so good, the L'Oreal Full Wear, I forget. Sometimes I forget the coverage is there, the longevity is there, y'all. I know this one looks a little bit brighter, but it's because it's a lighter shade, so I know it might look like L'Oreal's better, it's crazy. I will say, I do feel like they are dupes, for sure. These ones, to me, dupes the house down boots. The L'Oreal one is truly amazing, and you just can't come for her. I'm gonna have a little more tar on the other side, just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna set my under eyes really quickly. I'm, I don't have a product that I would be like, these are dupes for under eye setting, but I'm gonna set them really fast. Okay, I just wanna quickly set my under eyes and now move on to powder. Let's move on to powder before we go into our, our highlighter. Let's powder our face first. I do think that we should. So through the grapevine, I have heard that the L'Oreal 24 hour foundation is super similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, flawless airbrush finish. So I am so fascinated by that theory. So I said, oh, we need to try that out. So I'm gonna take Charlotte Tilbury all over the face, just kind of through the cheeks, just like lightly setting around. And I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna see if the finish is even anything similar. The Charlotte Tilbury powder, this one is so incredible. And if there's something similar to this, I will be elated and jumping for joy. Boom, that's that one. Looks gorgeous and honestly flawless. I know the Charlotte one well. I don't know the L'Oreal one that well. So I don't know her. I feel like this went viral, like hella viral a while ago. So let's just see. By the way, I grabbed the shade 130, 130. I would say immediately, like it is going on very, very lovely. And I'm using it to set my face. I do think that it looks very nice. This one is giving more coverage for sure than Miss Charlotte is. Cause you can already see on my, on this side, there's more coverage being laid down. Immediately more coverage, immediately, immediately. Ooh, okay, fresh wear. Charlotte. Finish wise, it is similar, but because this side has more coverage, it looks a little bit more cakey because it's giving more coverage. It's not as thin as the Charlotte one. Would I say necessarily it's a dupe? The finish is similar, it's just more coverage. So if you want less coverage, I wouldn't say it's a dupe, but if you want something that's kind of similar in the finish of it being like slightly, not luminous, but more natural looking of a powder, I can see that, like I can I can understand what people are saying about it. This side feels like I feel very Casper. This side is giving share. Casper, share. So let's move right along, you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with our bronzer next. So I've seen so many comments about how the Hula bronzer by Benefit is very similar to the Infallible bronzer by L'Oreal. So we're gonna see if that's the true tea. 
Take a little bit of hula and just kind of dust it all over. Hula is a classic tried and true by Benefit. Come on. That's like, I feel like one of their cores. It's giving core. Why is the term it's giving so fun to say? It's giving, it just, it is. And it's funny because like the gays have been saying it's giving for so long that it's funny to see it kind of go so mainstream into like the hetero world because it's, it's giving, it's giving gay awareness. It's giving ally. Talk Valentina, ally. That looks lovely to me, obviously because hula is hula. I haven't tried this bronzer. This is in the shade light. I think this is going to be too light of a comparison. It's definitely depositing. Look at that. Ooh, girl. Honestly, I am seeing a similarity, especially to, like with how it's getting deposited because it's going down and it goes down very smooth. Like the L'Oreal bronzer, bitch. It's pigmented, but it's so easy to blend. Like, look at that. Like, I feel like that looks like it's part of my skin. You guys, that's lovely. You know what? I might want to go a shade darker, to be honest. The goal is to make my face look as symmetrical as possible with these dupes, obviously. Honestly, I would say that was a yes for me. So color-wise, the infallible bronzer is a little bit lighter. I really like that. What do you guys think? <laughs> The bronzer got me together. Let me add some blush really quickly. I sadly do not have a blush here that I could be like, this is a dupe to me. Like I didn't, I could not find a blush that I thought, mm, yeah, this is gonna be a comparable dupe that was like duped to something more high end. I didn't feel that. I don't think that L'Oreal has like the best blush options. I'm gonna have to go back and dig some more, but I didn't get like good blush vibes from L'Oreal. I just didn't. Okay guys, so the blush is on now. I'm going pinky today. Oh, que bella. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you guys, we're gonna go in with our next product, and this is gonna be our highlighter for the video. But first, we're gonna do our setting spray. So what I need to do, because my face is, you know, mattified, it's powdered the house down, I need to go in with a little bit of wetness to kind of re relive my face. What? Reignite? Remoisten. So I'm gonna go take the Urban Decay All Nighter on the right side, and I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender on this side. And I do feel like these are very similar. Come on, you can't tell me nothing on this one. I didn't even shoot out the same. Does L'Oreal own Urban Decay? Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our product, our main product. So this is one that I actually saw online that a lot of people were saying, these are dupes. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion is a dupe for the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I'm like, all right, well let's try it out and see if it actually is a dupe. Since I'm not putting it underneath my face as like my primer, I'm actually gonna just put it on the back of my hand. See this? Lord, I put too much on. Help me. It's still fucking lovely. Well, god damn. Again, what, what really helps is if you put on a little bit of setting spray before you go in with like more liquids over powder. It just makes it 10 times easier. But let's try this. I've never actually tried this before, so I'm very intrigued. I'm taking the shade Light Glow. Fuck, it is so similar. Like, when you, even when you swatch it, it's so similar. Baby, that's the same thing. Oh wait, you know what though? I do feel like this one lifted off a little bit more. Hold on, let's zoom in. Both of them lifted off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of lift. There's a little bit of takeoff. Zoom, zoom. Hollywood flawless side, much less takeoff, much less pickup of the foundation underneath. Whereas the L'Oreal Glotion side definitely lifted off a lot more foundation than the other side. So I would say if you are going to use this, the L'Oreal one, use it underneath foundation. Use it as like your base, similar to as if you would use the flawless filter. I like to use the flawless filter as like highlighter as well, cause I don't like how it looks all over my face. I thought it could be used the same. <laughs> I thought wrong. It's not gonna look the same sadly, because there is an area kind of like not there foundation. And there's nothing I can really do about it. So we're just gonna keep on coming. It's just funny though, cause I do feel like the finish is so similar and the consistency is so similar, but for some reason, the L'Oreal one is just a little bit, what's the term? I do feel like it's a little bit more, maybe Vaseline-y, a little bit thicker. And that's why it lifted off uh, compared to the Charlotte Tilbury side where it doesn't lift off nearly as much. So on this one, I would recommend doing it underneath, the, underneath, underneath the base. All about the base, no travel. <laughs> but I do feel like it's a dupe, I do. Uh, if you're using it underneath. Let's move on to our brows, you guys. Let's watch our little beachy brow. I do feel like these are very similar right here. We have the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're gonna use it on the right. And on the left, we're using our L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. These are literally, it's the same thing. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> They're literally the same thing. I don't know what you mean, Mayor Bags. 
I feel like they're the same and no one can convince me otherwise. Let's go and take our ABH on the right side. I actually have the shade uh, medium brown. So this is gonna be real funny uh, because the other shade I have is dark brown in L'Oreal. There will be a difference, but what I'm really testing for is more so the formulation. Brow Wiz by Anastasia. It's, it's a great pencil. It's like one of the best pencils in the market. It is pigmented, but it's a little bit more on the dry side. It's not super, super emollient. And you have a lot of control with this pencil, you know? Like you can make it go like perfectly. It's like a dry, it's like a dry brow pencil, but pigmented. Other than this being kind of like low-key the wrong color, since I should go on a little bit darker, I think it looks lovely. I really do. I love Brow Definer. This is a great, great, great product to me. So let's try Miss Brow Stylist Definer on the left side. This one I actually not, I don't have as much um, experience with. I don't, I've used it maybe like once before. When you're a reviewer for a living and you've been reviewing products for 10 years, sometimes like you literally forget products that you've used, especially when they come back like years later. I'm like, I don't remember. We're just gonna go into this one. This is in the shade dark brown. It's a very different color. Formulation wise, it is similar because it's not too oily. It's making my brows look gray. I don't know about this color. I don't like this color. I like this side more actually. Just color wise, formulation wise, I actually will say, I think they're very similar, you guys. I actually do feel this is a dupe. I really do. I think that the stylus is definitely one that I can see as a dupe for the Brow Pencil by ABH. And not only because of the way they look being so similar and the appearance of them, but because of the formulation, it's a still a drier brow pencil that's pigmented. So if you're looking for something that's a very similar dupe to the ABH Brow Wiz, I would try out the Brow Stylus Definer. The shade range is not nearly as good as the ABH one, but it's a lot cheaper and it's, it does work very well. Also, side note when it comes to the foundation, like I said, I've used both foundations. I've used Armani, I've used L'Oreal. I don't need to do like a wear test to see which is gonna wear better. I can already tell you now that Armani is going to wear better than the L'Oreal True Matches, 100%. Armani just lasts a lot longer on my skin. I don't know what it is, maybe just because it dries down to slightly more natural finish than the glowy one on the L'Oreal. In case you guys are curious like which one lasts longer, Armani definitely lasts longer on my skin. For sure. Concealer, they last the same. <laughs> the L'Oreal concealer is fucking incredible. Okie dokie, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do some eyeshadow on my eyes. There's no like L'Oreal palettes I feel are dupes and comparable to any other brand because the L'Oreal palettes, they're just like, I don't think that they're known for shadow. I think that they're known for complexion and that's what they do well. But I am gonna try out this. I feel like I have used these before. These are Brilliant Eyes liquid shadows. And I don't remember if they were that pigmented, I feel like they weren't. But I grabbed a different shade this time. This is actually in the shade Paradise Star and I swatched it and it swatched so nicely. Look at that, the coverage on that. It smells like literal death. Death in a bottle. Shut up and take my money. It literally smells like, like almost Sharpie. Nail polish remover Sharpie vibes. Like that's what it literally smells like, it smells horrendous. I don't know. And I, of course, think that they are trying to come for the Stila Liquid and Glows. I'm gonna do some eyeshadow real quick, and then I'll come back, and then we'll test out also our eyeliner, KVD L'Oreal Cat Eye oh, oh, Mascara. Bitch, come on now. Come on now. Lippy. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Hello, hello, we're back. Okay, guys, so my eyes are on. I just like a cute cool toned, like neutral Nelly. So we're gonna go in with our little shimmer now. So I'm gonna go in with our first shade. We're gonna take our, is Kitten. Kitten, I don't think is gonna be the same color as it, but this is the closest Stila shade that I have to it. I like the Stila uh, liquid glows because I do think that they're just very pretty. Don't you guys think that's pretty? Like, come on, come on. Blend the edges out quickly because they sh this should dry us like fucking so fast. So just blend the edges. I just like to tap. Like that's so cute. But anyway, I already know I like these. That's not the point of this. I know I like these. Oh, we're gonna like this. I'm scared to put this on because of the smell. Like genuinely, like that really did shock me. I'm also like just scared of it burning me. You know what I mean? Like it looks so similar. Not the color, but the consistency and the effect. That looks so freaking eerily similar. This also, like I will say, blends out more and blends out a little bit faster. I feel like that just looks so... Ugh. The color goes so well with my eyeshadow already. That's why I like it so much. Oh, but this is sticky. Oh my God, that's what it was. I remember I used this before and it was sticky. Okay, we need to let this shit dry quick because it's very sticky right now on my lid. Do not close your eyes when this is drying down because you will crease so horribly. It already feels drier. Ooh. I was scared. I do feel like they are comparable dupes. Specifically this color, because I also grabbed another one, you guys. I grabbed the shade Seeing Stars, 
And let me show you guys the consistency. This is the one I, I swatched. This is the Paradise Star shade. And then look at this one. It's not the same. This one is sheer with reflect like flakes in it. I wonder if not all of them are just built the same. They're not because the Paradise Star one has base to it. It's more of a shimmer. And this one almost reminds me more of the Stila glitter, actually. Cute. Okay, next we're taking our next dupe eyeliners. So the KVD Trooper, I feel like has been a tried and true staple for so long, for so many years. And that is what we're gonna be using on the right side. And I do feel Miss L'Oreal is coming for them. This one's a little bit dried out, so it's not as pigmented. It's so lovely when it's fresh. Now let's go in with our Flash Cat Eye by Infallible by L'Oreal. I will tell you immediately right now, I really like this. I really like this. I've used this before. It stayed on my desk once I tried it for the first time. I almost feel like it's more pigmented than the KVD one, I swear. Dupe, dupe the house down. It's dupe the house down. I cannot get over how massively impressed I was when I first tried this. I was like, this is a sick joke. With how good this is, it reminded me so much of the KVD. But this one's even darker. One layer, this is two. It's a dupe, I like you. And also what's cool about this one is that I lost it though, of course, because I'm a stupid ass beach. There's like this thing that you can like attach to it and you can like, it can help you like create a wing. There's the ability to do so. They're similar, but the infallible I think is more pigmented. True tea. Now let's go with mascara. Too Faced Better Than Sex versus Lash Paradise. You cannot tell me that L'Oreal's not coming out with this to try to compete with Too Faced. You just can't tell me. The Wand of Lash Paradise, okay? Okay, the Wand of Lash Paradise and the Wand of Too Faced. <laughs> The color of the bottle. Ma'am, don't try me. Like, that's what I think. This mascara is very good at giving you volume. Does not keep my curl to save my literal life. Ain't nothing keep my curl up, <laughs> except waterproof. But it's a great mascara. It does give amazing volume and it does look very full and luscious. Now let's do Miss Lash Paradise. Let's find out. I don't remember which one I like more. Well, we'll see right now together. I was tempted to use telescopic. Can you say? Magnetic. I like this one more, to be honest. Yo, this is a dupe. This is such a dupe, like, honestly. If you guys are into the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and I've always wanted a dupe for it, baby, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, dupe. Dupe the house down. Do you know how hard it is to not want to just go immediately over and keep switching over product? It's difficult. So that's that. I honestly feel like the mascara on my eyes look the exact same. They look the exact same to me. Like, honestly, there ain't no difference here. Next, let's move on to the lippy. I'm actually not gonna lip line with this one just cause the product, I don't feel like I should lip line. A few moments later. No, I'm gonna lip line. I am gonna lip line, shut up. So we did one solid lip liner across just cause I wanna see what the lippies look like. So I feel like the dupes for this one are gonna be the Glossier Hydrating Shine and Color in the shade Lucite. And then I feel like the L'Oreal Glow Paradise Pastel Exaltation is gonna be similar. <laughs> Some of these names, they take me out. So the glossy one, it's cute. I just don't think it gives off that much color, but it is an adorable little thing. Gives off a nice shine. So the L'Oreal one, this is one I have not used before. So I saw this and I was like, this is gonna give me the Glossier vibe. So I was like, hmm, let's see. So I'm taking this one. Okay, so that's automatically more pigmented. But the way it glides on is eerily similar to the Glossier one. Oh, but do you know what, you guys? My L'Oreal one isn't that finely milled. So the product inside here, it's not finely milled enough, so you actually get these like little spots of bumps. You can just kind of feel the bumps in it. That happens. You know what, this also kind of reminds me of the YSL ones. This could also be a YSL dupe, low key. But these two just looked so similar to me. One has just less pigment to it, but I feel like this effect on the lips is the exact same. I think the L'Oreal one obviously needs to be milled better clearly, but the color is beautiful and it smells really nice. Whoa, I'm good. That one I came up with myself. <laughs> Got it. You know what, you guys? I think the real dupe here is the Rouge Volupt Shine. I think that's the real dupe here. Also the glossy one, absolutely. I do feel like it's a dupe for sure because I do feel like it's very similar. By the way, this is my favorite Rouge Volupt Shine. This is in the shade is it 44? This is the one I like. This is the Rouge Volupt Shine 44. It's so nice. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on my hand just so you can see what it looks like. Boom, look at the L'Oreal one. Hold on, you're gonna, y'all, diva, diva. Instead of the Glossier, I actually do think it's the YSL they're coming for. Is that YSL over here? Just on top of it. Different color, but same effect. Perra, pinchy perra. What does it mean? 
Okay, you guys, and that is it for today's video, testing all of these L'Oreal dupes to their high-end counterpart. What do you guys think? How do you guys think I look? Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like there's a lot of dupes, a lot of similarities. Some things I didn't feel like were dupes. I was like, mm, I don't really feel like it's that similar, or there was some similarities to it, but the effect wasn't the same. But there were a lot of products I did feel like were definite dupes on the face and the way they looked, I was like, I feel like this is a dupe. For sure, like the brow pencil, I felt like a dupe. The primer, dupe. The foundation, I think you need a lot more of the L'Oreal one to get to the Armani finish. Bronzer, very similar. The highlighter, the Glotion, I would definitely recommend underneath the skin, not necessarily on top, because it will take off your foundation so heavily. Setting spray was very similar dupe. The lip, I think, was a complete dupe with the, the YSL. Mascara dupe. Eyeliner, I think the L'Oreal one's even better. Powder, the Charlotte Tilbury was better. We learned some stuff today, we learned things. We did, we learned a lot of things together here on this gorgeous skate day. Uh, but that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys had fun watching it, had so much fun making it. And I'm really enjoying this kind of little mini baby series on my channel. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see another one, like I was thinking about potentially doing Maybelline or I saw this other brand at CVS the other day. It was called W7, Flower Beauty. I'm very interested in doing a dupe one on Flower Beauty. That's it for today's video. Have a great day the night or day, wherever you guys are. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. How's the rat's nest? Is it ratting? Ooh, the self tanner. Don't look. For the mass, for the vast majority. So what we're gonna do, do what we're gonna do, do. By the way, you guys, as a little, why is it that right when I'm filming, everyone decides to text me? Go the distance. I will find my way.